The New York City region is one of the most diverse places in the United States, but it is also one of the most segregated. In 1968, the Federal Fair Housing Act made fair housing the law of the land, but since then, government enforcement of fair housing laws has been passive and uneven at best, and as a result, housing discrimination and residential segregation are still deeply pervasive today. New York City had had a fair housing group for many years, but suddenly closed, and the largest city in the United States did not have a fair housing organization to advocate for its residents. A nonprofit here in New York that worked with people who were homeless to find shelter became concerned and reached out to me and to my husband in Washington, D.C., and asked us if we would be interested in coming to New York uh, and helping New York to create a fair housing organization. That was in 2004, and we opened the doors in 2005. Over the past 12 years, the FHJC has been working to eliminate housing discrimination, to promote policies and programs that foster more open, accessible, and inclusive communities, and to strengthen enforcement of fair housing laws. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our mission. We are the only full-service organization based in New York City that exclusively works to advance fair housing. The FHJC serves all five boroughs of New York City and the seven surrounding New York counties. Fair Housing Justice Center is an organization that is doing good. They are here to make sure that everyone has access to an inclusive community that is free from discrimination. The Fair Housing Justice Center is a fantastic organization that prepares and investigates cases like no other organization. We're one of many organizations throughout the country that send testers out into the housing market to test for discrimination. When Fred and I came to New York, uh, we were talking uh, with lots of people about where we might be able to get testers. What we all began to think about was uh, the role of actors in this community. So uh, we reached out to the Actors Fund and they became one of the very first partners for the organization. That partnership continues today. There's also been a lot of cutting edge work that's been done by FHJC, like lending discrimination cases against banks that have not ever been done before. The FHJC is focused on the clearest and most important issue that really faces all of us, that affects so many people, but that so many Americans, too many Americans, are completely unaware of. We're educating and we're bringing an awareness to uh, New York City that discrimination is not tolerated in any form. When people are educated, it is empowering and that's on all sides. So whether you're talking about housing providers or advocates or consumers or just residents, the scale of the problems is really immense. Um, and to me, the Fair Housing Justice Center and the work they do gives me some hope for a better future. One organization with a handful of staff in the largest city in the country, on the one hand, you could say that small, tiny organization has not had much impact at all. On the other hand, it's had enormous impact. I would describe it almost a little bit like a glacier. You don't always see immediately the impact that it has, but it slowly and carefully chips away at discrimination. For the individuals who work with the organization, who the organization advocates for, their lives are changed. And in addition, each of those individuals, when they come forward, file a complaint with the organization, bring legal claims, they open up housing opportunities for everybody else. We've been able to open up uh, thousands of housing units to families and future generations where they had not had the opportunity to rent or buy or, or borrow there before. And with that housing comes educational opportunities, employment opportunities, on all the other reasons that it's so important for people to be able to live where they want to live. It's been amazing to have the opportunity to work with the Fair Housing Justice Center. I can't imagine New York City today without the Fair Housing Justice Center. Our work is just beginning and we need the help of all New Yorkers. It is more important than ever to engage in a struggle for fairness and equality. We need to demonstrate by our actions that our civil rights still matter. Please take a moment to consider the role that you play or could play in the fight for fair housing. Help us make fair housing a living reality for all New Yorkers. Support the FHJC today.